Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Erica Shablis, the handmade creative behind Erica Made. Today's quick video is a tech support video to help those who use a Mac and you want to print borderless using the ET Tanks 2750 or the 3760. If you're having trouble printing borderless, stick around. This video is for you. If you like my video, click the subscribe button, hit the bell button, hit the like button to let me know you want further videos. Thanks for visiting. Okay, this quick video is to help those um, that use a Mac and um, want to print borderless on their ET tanks. And there are two printers that I'm gonna discuss um, with this video. It's the 3760 or the 2750. Now I bought the 2750 a few months ago and I had trouble printing borderless. People were telling me I could print borderless. People tell me I couldn't print borderless. So I broke down and brought another one a few days ago, the 3760. And on the box it says borderless. Come to find out they both can do borderless. And I want to show you how because I've spent hours and hours this past weekend and today trying to get both of them to work. And there's some little glitch with the Mac. I upgraded to the new um, software that didn't help. I un uninstalled drivers, reinstalled drivers, restarted computers, and I'm, I'm a technologist, so this was driving me crazy. So I'm going to show you how to print borderless from your ET tanks if you have the 2750 or the 3760. When you go to file and print, and somebody's going in the background at another house, so I'm sorry if you hear that. When you go to print, you're going to choose your printer. Like right here, I have 2750. I have a 3760. I'm not printing from um, my other ones. These are the two that I'm going to talk about. When I go to 2750, I'm going to go right down here to where it says preview. And I'm going to go to preview printer features. This right here where it says borderless, Epson is telling me to click it on standard. I'm like, oh my goodness, I want borderless. Why wouldn't I do it there? For some reason, when we click the standard and then we go back up here to preview, uh, right here where it says paper size, where it says US letter, we're going to change the paper size and we're going to click the first one that doesn't say borderless, US letter. And you'll notice on the side it moved. Now, when I go to US letter again and go down to US letter borderless, it filled the page. When you print, it is going to give you a full print page crazy all right so i'm going to do the same thing with my 37. there's my 37. i'm already on those settings but i'm gonna go over the settings one, one more time when i go down to printer features i want this standard or whatever this is is pay setup it needs to be on standard so if it was on borderless you need to move it to standard and then you're going to go back to your preview and you're going to go where it says us borderless and you're going to click the first one and then you're going to click the borderless one and it's going to give you that full print page i hope this helps someone because i have spent hours and hours two phone conversations um with an hour minimum with someone um i'm from epson epson i spent um some time on the internet this past weekend with people that i shouldn't have been on the phone with because they were scamming and they asked me to pay for something, you do not have to pay. You just do those settings and it will print borderless for you. I hope this helps you. Have fun.